Well, now to a new warning tonight about blue-green algae. It's dangerous for people and pets. Tonight, a local veterinarian is outlining what to do if your dog comes in contact with the toxic blooms. I did not know that it was dangerous to pets. Sarah Nasowitz of Springfield is like many pet owners. She never really knew how dangerous blue-green algae can be for her dog, Stella. And her shepherd mix occasionally goes swimming, too. She'll do like a little circle because she's on the leash and then come back and shake all over us yeah. and then do it again. You'll often find blue-green algae blooms in warm and stagnant or slow-moving water. And that's why it grows so fast in the summer and fall. Where you see foam, scum, or mats of algae, it's best to not swim there. And if you wouldn't swim there, veterinarian Bob Shirtliff of the Eastfield Hospital for Animals in Wilbraham said it's best not to allow your pets to swim there either. They haven't even really identified what the specific toxins are yet, but it's been known to happen in the past on a larger scale with cattle. He came onto the floor and he was like trying to wrap his paw around my arm and I just told him what a good boy he was. In North Carolina, an extreme case, a couple is trying to educate fellow dog lovers about the dangers of toxic okay. algae. All three of their dogs died within hours of coming in contact with blue-green algae. Their dogs had spent the afternoon swimming in a nearby pond. When you get them out, rinse them off, try not to let them lick themselves too much, and then just watch for any side effects. In the North Carolina case, those side effects were seizures. Dr. Shirtliff said, if that happens, bring your dog to the vet immediately. Sarah Nasowitz said that she'll be spot-checking the water more closely from now on. And blue-green algae has been detected in all 50 states. In fact, some swimming areas locally were closed off to the summer due to toxic algae.